I declare over you that every demonic force must bow down to the name of Jesus for it is written in Philippians 2 10 to 11 that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow and heaven and under the earth and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father I declare over you that the power of the name of Jesus is greater than any demonic force and I call upon the power to manifest in your life today in the name of Jesus. God, I ask for the presence of your Holy Spirit to fill this place and to drive out any unclean spirits that are lurking. I declare over you that the Holy Spirit is moving mightily, breaking every chain and shattering every stronghold of the enemy in Jesus' name. As it is written in Acts 1.8, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria to the ends of the earth. I declare over you that the power of the Holy Spirit is at work, bringing deliverance and setting the captives free from every form of demonic oppression in the name of Jesus. The word of God assures us that we have been given authority to cast out demons in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that the authority given to you by Christ is being exercised right now in Jesus' name. As it is written in Luke 10, 19, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. I declare over you that every serpent and scorpion and every demonic force that has been assigned to attack or torment you is being trampled underfoot in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that the enemy has no power over you and that you are free from his schemes and attacks in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for a divine separation between you and any demonic entities that may be influencing or controlling your life in Jesus name. I declare over you that every spirit that does not align with the will of God is being cast out in Jesus name as it is written in Mark 16, 17. And these signs will accompany those who believe in my name. They will drive out demons. I declare over you that in the name of Jesus, every demon must leave, every influence must be broken, and every bondage must be loosed. I declare over you that the power of Christ is driving out every unclean spirit and restoring peace and wholeness to your life in the name of Jesus. I call upon the blood of Jesus to cleanse and purify every area of your life that has been contaminated by demonic influence in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that the blood of Jesus is washing away every unclean spirit and every demon stain in the name of Jesus as it is written in Revelation 12 11 they triumphed over him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony they did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death I declare over you that the blood of the lamb is securing your victory over the enemy and that every demonic force is being overcome by the power of Jesus' sacrifice in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for the renewal of your mind and spirit, asking that any lies or deception that has been planted by demonic forces be uprooted in Jesus' name. I declare over you that the truth of God's word is replacing every falsehood and every lie that the enemy has sown in Jesus' name. As it is written in John 8, 32, then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. I declare over you that you are being set free from every demonic lie and deception and that the truth of God's word is filling your heart and mind, bringing clarity, understanding and freedom in Jesus' name. I declare God's protection of his divine hedge around you, guarding you from any further attacks by the enemy in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that God's protective shield is surrounding you in Jesus' name as it is written in Psalm 91 verse 4. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. I declare over you that no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises against you in judgment shall be condemned in the name of Jesus. Jesus. That's Isaiah 54 verse 17. I declare over you that you are enveloped in the safety of God's presence and that no evil can penetrate his protective shield in the name of Jesus. I pray for the restoration of your soul, asking that the Holy Spirit would renew and refresh you, removing any residue of demonic oppression in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that the Spirit of God is bringing renewal and healing to every area of your life that has been affected by demonic 
activity in the name of Jesus. As it is written in 2 Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone. The new is here. I declare over you that you are a new creation in Christ and that the old demonic influences are passing away, making way for the new transformed life that God has for you in the name of Jesus. I pray for the empowerment to resist the devil and to stand firm in the faith. I declare over you that you are equipped with spiritual strength and resilience to withstand every temptation and every attack from the enemy in the name of Jesus. As it is written in James 4 verse 7 submit yourselves then to God resist the devil and he will flee from you I declare over you that you have the power to resist the devil that he must flee from you and that you are standing firm in the victory of Christ in Jesus name I declare over you that you are equipped with the armor of God and that you are able to stand against the wiles of the devil in Jesus name I declare over you that every area of your life is coming into alignment with the will of God and that every demonic force that has sought to divert or distort God's plans for you is being cast out in the name of Jesus. As it is written in Romans 8, 28, and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose, I declare over you that God is working all things together for your good and that his purposes for your life are being fulfilled free from the influence of demonic interference in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that every curse that has been passed down through your family line is broken by the power of Jesus as it is written in Galatians 3 verse 13 Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. I declare over you that Jesus has redeemed you from every curse, that every generational stronghold is being dismantled and that you are walking in the freedom and blessing that Christ has purchased for you in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that God is restoring what the enemy has tried to steal, kill and destroy in Jesus name. As it is written in Joel 2 verse 25, I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten. I declare over you that God is restoring and redeeming every Every lost opportunity, every broken relationship, every area of your life that has been ravaged by demonic influence in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that God is bringing renewal and restoration and that you are walking in the fullness of his blessings. I declare over you that your faith is being fortified and your spiritual resolve is being strengthened. As it is written in 1 Peter 5 verse 9, Resist him standing firm in the faith because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of sufferings. I declare over you that you are standing firm in your faith, that you are resisting the devil and that you are supported by the strength and courage that comes from the Lord in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that the peace of God is filling your heart as it is written in Philippians 4 verse 7 and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your heart and your minds in Christ Jesus I declare over you that the joy of the Lord is your strength as it is written in Nehemiah 8 verse 10 I declare over you that you are walking in the fullness of God's peace and joy free from the disturbances and oppressions of the enemy in Jesus name I thank God for the victory that has been secured through the power of Jesus. I declare over you that every demonic force has been defeated, every stronghold has been broken, and every chain has been shattered in the mighty name of Jesus. As it is written in Colossians 2 15, and having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. I declare over you that you are walking in the victory of Christ, that every demonic power has been disarmed and defeated, and that you are living in the freedom and triumph that Jesus has as one for you in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that you are never alone, for the Lord is with you always. As it is written in Psalm 23 verse 4, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your road and your staff, they comfort me. I declare over you that you are walking in the assurance of God's presence, comforted and protected by his mighty hand in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare over you that you are free from all demonic oppression, that you are walking in the fullness of God's blessings, and that His peace, joy, and victory are manifesting in your life 
Psalm 91 verse 2 says, I will say of the Lord, God is my refuge, my fortress, my God in whom I trust. I pray that you will always see God as your refuge and fortress. May you trust in God completely knowing that God's strength and protection are unwavering. Remember that the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen and protect you from the evil one as he has promised in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 3. Psalm 91 verse 3 assures us, Surely God will save you from the foulest snare and from the deadly pestilence. I pray that God will save you from every trap set by the enemy and protect you from every harm. May God's deliverance break every snare that the devil has laid, bringing you freedom from all spiritual bondage. May God's protection keep you safe from all harm, both physical and spiritual. Just as it is written, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. In Isaiah 54 verse 17. Psalm 91 verse 4 says, God will cover you with his feathers and under God's wings, you will find refuge. God's faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. I pray that God will cover you with his feathers, providing refuge under God's wings. May God's faithfulness be your shield and defense, repelling every attack of the devil. May God's protective wings be a barrier against all evil, keeping you safe in God's love. Remember the Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. According to Psalm 1, 21 verse 5. Psalm 91 verses 5 to 6 speaks of freedom from fear, saying, You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. I pray that you will be free from all fear, whether it comes in the night or in the light of the day. May God's protection guard you against every terror, every attack, and every evil that lurks in the shadows. May God's peace fill your heart, driving out all fear and anxiety caused by the enemy. As the scripture reassures in Psalm 23 verse 4, Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me, your rod and your staff. They comfort me. Psalm 91 verse 7 promises a thousand may fall at your side ten thousand at your right hand but it will not come near you i pray that no matter how many enemies rise against you they will not come near you may god's protection be so strong around you that all the devil's attempts to harm you will fail may god's power shield you ensuring that you stand firm while the enemy's forces crumble as it is written in psalms 27 verse 1 the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall i fear the lord is a stronghold of my life of whom shall i be afraid psalm 91 verses 9 to 10 says if you say the lord is my refuge and you make the most high your dwelling no harm will overtake you no disaster will come near your tent i pray that by making god your refuge and dwelling no harm will overtake you and no disaster will come near may god's presence fill your life making it impossible for the devil to gain a foothold may god's protection be a constant companion keeping all evil far away in agreement with romans chapter 8 verse 31 if god is for us who can be against us psalm 91 verses 11 to 12 says for god will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways they will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone i pray that god will command his angels to guard you in all your ways may these heavenly beings lift you up and protect you from every trap and danger set by the devil in jesus name may the presence of the angels be a sign of god's unceasing care ensuring that you walk safely on the path god has laid out just as it is promised in hebrews 1 verse 14 that angels are ministering spirits sent to serve those who will inherit salvation psalm 91 verse 13 says 
You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. I pray that God will grant you the strength to tread on every power of the enemy, trampling down the forces of darkness that try to invade your life. May God grant you authority over every demonic force, enabling victory over the devil and his works. Let God's power within you be greater than anything that rises against you. Echoing the truth of Luke 10 verse 19, where Jesus said, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. Psalm 91 verse 14 assures us, because they love me, says the Lord, I will rescue them. I will protect them for they acknowledge my name. Because of your love for God and acknowledgement of God's name, I pray that God will rescue and protect you. May God's love be your shield, keeping you safe from all harm and freeing you from the devil's grip. May your love for God be a source of strength, drawing you closer to God's protective embrace. As it is written in James 4 verse 7, Submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Psalm 91 verse 15 promises, They will call on me and I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble, I will deliver them and honor them. I pray that as you call upon God, he will answer you. May God be present in every trouble, delivering you from the hand of the enemy and honoring you with God's presence. May God's response be swift and powerful, breaking every chain and setting you free from all the devil's influence in Jesus' name. Psalm 91 verse 16 declares, With long life I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. May God satisfy you with long life and show you his salvation. I pray that you will experience the fullness of God's blessings, living in the freedom and protection that God provides. Let God's salvation be evident in your life, driving out all darkness and filling you with God's light and peace. May you find comfort in the promise of John 10 verse 10, where Jesus said, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. I pray that when you seek the presence of the Father, you are heard just as the psalmist experienced in Psalm 34 verse 4. May the Lord deliver you from fear and anxiety, filling your heart with peace and assurance. May he redeem your life from the clutches of the evil one, as expressed in Psalm 34 verse 5. I declare that you are radiant as you look unto the Father, shining with his light, trusting in him without shame. When you call upon the Lord in times of need, may he answer you and save you from every trouble, as in Psalm 34 verse 6. May you take refuge in his presence, knowing that his angels encamp around you, guarding you from every danger and harm, as stated in Psalm 34 verse 7. May you continue to taste and see the goodness of God in your life, blessed as you take refuge in Him, according to Psalm 34 verse 8. In all the difficulties and dangers of life, may you recognize the guiding hand of the Father's grace and protection. I proclaim that your home will be safeguarded from the schemes of the enemy. I pray for your home to be protected from the harsh elements of the sun and the cold of the night as Psalm 121 verse 6 assures the sun will not harm you by day nor the moon by night may your home be a beacon of hospitality and warmth offering hope and life to all who enter in Jesus name I pray for your home to be filled with joy and love serving as a testament to God's goodness and grace may the vigilance watch over your home ensuring your safety and well-being as Psalm 121 verse 4 promises indeed he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep I declare that the enemy's plans are thwarted by the ever present father in your home i pray for your home to be a sanctuary of god's glory in jesus name may you hold the lord in reverence and awe even amidst life's storms for those who fear him lack nothing as stated in psalm 34 verse 9 i pray that the lord abundantly provides for all your needs and protects you from the wicked may he satisfy the hunger in your soul and lead you to walk in reverence and obedience before him all the days of your life may the lord grant you a love 
love for life and the desire to see many good days, guiding you to walk in his ways and experience the abundance of his blessings and protection. I pray that your tongue is guarded against speaking evil and your lips from telling lies so that the devil may have no foothold in your life. Instead, may your words be filled with kindness and truth, reflecting the righteousness and grace of the Lord. May the Lord help you to turn away from evil and do good, seeking peace and pursuing it as Psalm 34 verse 14 instructs. May you strive to live in harmony with others, seeking peace in all your interactions. According to Psalm 34 verse 15, the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. His ears are attentive to their cry. I pray that you feel secure knowing that the Lord's eyes and ears are attentive to you, ensuring your safety and well-being. May the Lord's goodness, mercy and grace surround you at every moment of the day. I declare that the face of the Lord is against those who do evil against you. And I pray that he blots out their names from the earth in Jesus' name, according to Psalm 34 verse 16. I pray that the Lord guards the entrance of your home in Jesus' name. I entrust your home into his loving care for he is always ready to shield you from every danger, sin and unseen. As stated in Psalms 121 verse 5, the Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. May his angels encircle your home, providing a hedge of divine protection in Jesus' name. May no harm come to you or your loved ones within your home for the Lord is their unwavering refuge and strength in in Jesus name may the Lord lead you in decision making concerning your home granting you wisdom to establish a sanctuary of peace and love where his presence abounds may your home shine as a beacon of light in the darkness a place where hearts find rest and spirits find renewal even as life's storms rage outside your home may it stand firm on the rock of the Lord's promises as Psalm 121 verse 7 assures the Lord will keep you from all harm he will watch over your life. May your dwelling be fortified with faith and trust in God's unwavering law so that even amidst howling winds and pouring rains, it remains unshaken, securely uncut in God's grace. In Jesus' name, may the Lord rescue you from all your troubles and fill your heart with peace and joy. As Psalm 34 verse 17 states, the righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. Psalm 34 verse 18 assures us, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. I pray that you find solace in the Lord when you feel brokenhearted and downtrodden by life's challenges. I speak healing to the wounds afflicted by the enemy's attacks and declare strength and restoration for you. May you walk in the awareness of your righteousness, knowing that although the righteous may face many troubles, the Lord will deliver them from them all. According to Psalm 34 verse 19, I pray for the Lord's protection over you, guarding your very bones from harm. As Psalm 34 verse 20 affirms, he protects all his bones, not one of them will be broken. May you rest securely in the Father's care, knowing that he watches over you with love and compassion. According to Psalm 34 verse 21, evil will slay the wicked. The foes of the righteous will be condemned. I pray that the Lord will bring judgment upon the wicked, harassing you and condemn your adversaries. I pray for your rescue from every danger and deliverance from every distress. As Psalm 34 verse 22 promises, the Lord will rescue his servants. No one who takes refuge in him will be condemned. May you find comfort in the Father, knowing that you will never be condemned. I declare over you that your household dwells in the secret place of the Most High and abides under the shadow of the Almighty in Jesus' name. I declare over you that the Lord is your refuge and your fortress, your God in whom you trust. That's Psalm 91 verse 2 in Jesus' name. I declare by the blood of Jesus that he shall deliver your household from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence in Jesus' name. I declare by the blood of Jesus that he shall cover your household with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. That's Psalm 91 verse 4 in Jesus' name. I declare by the blood of Jesus that your household shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. In Jesus' name I declare over you that a thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. 
or your household in Jesus name I declare over you that because you have made the Lord your dwelling place no evil shall be before you nor shall any plague come near your dwelling I declare over your household that he shall give his angels charge over your household to keep you in all your ways in Jesus name I declare by the blood of Jesus that your household shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent, your household shall trample on their foot. I declare over you that because you have set your love upon the Lord, he will deliver you, set you on high, answer you when you call, be with you in trouble, deliver you and honor you in Jesus' name. With long life, it will satisfy you and show you his salvation. The blood of Jesus is the foundation of our redemption and protection. It is the price that we paid for our sins and the means by which we are reconciled to God. The Apostle Paul writes in Ephesians 1 verse 7, In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. This means that the blood of Jesus is central to our relationship with God and it carries the authority and power to protect us from all evil. When we plead the blood of Jesus over our homes, we are invoking the victory that Jesus won on the cross over all the forces of darkness. I decree that your homes are sanctified by his sacrifice, protected by his power, and covered by his grace. Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus over the finances of your household in Jesus' name. I declare over you that the windows of heaven are open and God is pouring out his blessings upon this home so much so that there will be no room enough to receive it. Malachi 3 verse 10 The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I declare over you that lack has no place in your home. For the Lord shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4 19 The blood of Jesus has broken every chain of poverty. And I declare over you that you shall prosper in all that you do. And the Lord shall bless the works of your hands in Jesus' name. I declare over you by the blood of Jesus that your home is a place of divine favor and blessing. Psalm 5 verse 2 says, For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor you will surround him as with a shield. I declare that the favor of God surrounds your home like a shield. The Lord blesses you and makes his face shine upon you. I declare that the Lord opens doors for you that no man can shut and closes doors that no man can open. In Jesus' name, the favor of God goes before you, making every crooked path straight. I declare that the blessings of the Lord makes you rich and he has no sorrow with it. Every area of your life is blessed and the favor of God rests upon your household. I declare the blood of Jesus over you that your home is a place of divine protection and security. Psalm 91 verses 11 to 12 says, For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up lest you dash your foot against a stone. I declare that the angels of the Lord encamp around your home, protecting you from all harm in Jesus' name. The Lord is your shield and your defense, and no harm shall come near you. The blood of Jesus covers your home, and the angels of God stand guard, ensuring your safety. I declare that you dwell in the sacred place of the Most High and abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The Lord is your refuge and your fortress, and in Him you are safe. I declare by the blood of Jesus that your home is a sanctuary, a place of peace, a place where the presence of God dwells richly in Jesus' name. Just as the psalm is declared in Psalm 27 verse 1, The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is a stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is a protector of your home. His light shines brightly, dispelling every form of darkness that may try to infiltrate your space. I declare by the blood of Jesus that the enemy has no place in your home in Jesus' name. Every spirit of fear, anxiety, or worry must flee in Jesus' name. The peace of God which surpasses all understanding guards your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. I declare by the blood of Jesus that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Just as Psalm 23 verse 4 assures us, Yea, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your road and your staff, they comfort me. Lord, even in the darkest moments we will not fear, for we know that you are with us. The blood is your shield, God's presence your comfort. 
I declare that no evil will befall your home, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. Your home is secure in God's love and stands firm in the power of Christ's blood in Jesus' name. I declare over you, your home, that you are a place of healing and restoration. Just as Psalm 147 verse 3 proclaims, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Lord, I plead your blood over every room, every surface and every person who enters this home. May your healing power flow through this place, bringing physical health to our bodies and emotional healing to our hearts. I declare by the blood of Jesus that any sickness, disease or infirmity has no place here, for your blood speaks better words than the blood of Abel. You are healed by your stripes, Lord Jesus, and I claim that healing for every member of your household in Jesus' name. I declare over you, your home, that you are sanctified by the blood of Jesus, just as Psalm 51 verse 7 prays, Purge me with eye soap, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Lord, I ask that you purify this home, cleansing it from any sin, unrighteousness, or negative influences that may have entered. I plead the blood of Jesus over your thoughts, words, and actions, that they may be pleasing to you in Jesus' name. Sanctify this home, Lord, and let it be a place where your Holy Spirit is welcome to dwell in Jesus' name. May God's presence fill every room and may your house be a sanctuary of peace, love, and holiness in addition to protection, healing, and sanctification. Pleading the blood of Jesus over your home is also a declaration of victory in spiritual warfare. The enemy seeks to steal, kill, and destroy, but by the blood of Jesus, you are defended against his schemes in Jesus' name. By declaring the blood of Jesus over your home, you are standing firm in the authority that Christ has given you, resisting the enemy and claiming the victory that Jesus won on the cross. I declare over your household that you are surrounded by a hedge of protection by the blood of Jesus. I declare over your family that you are more than conquerors through him who loved us. In Jesus' name. Just as Psalm 27 verse 1 declares, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Lord, we are not afraid, for we know you are with us. I plead your blood over our minds, hearts, and spirits, and I declare that you will not be shaken by the enemy's lies or attacks in Jesus' name. You will put on the full armor of God, that's Ephesians 6, 11 to 18, and you will stand firm in the truth of God's word. I declare that the gates of hell will not prevail against your home, for you are covered by the blood of Jesus and sealed by the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the precious blood of Jesus that was shed for the redemption and protection of your people. I declare over you that the blood of Jesus covers every aspect of your life and this home. The blood that was shed on the cross is a constant reminder of God's love, mercy and protection. I declare over you that no evil shall befall you and no plague shall come near your dwelling. For the blood of Jesus stands as a barrier against all harm. I declare over you that this home is a sanctuary of peace, a place of refuge and a dwelling where the presence of God is welcomed and honored. I declare that you are securely sheltered under the divine protection of God in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus shed on the cross forms a protective barrier around you, ensuring that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. I declare over you that the promises of Psalm 91 are yours. For the blood of Jesus has sealed your place in the sacred place of the Most High in the name of Jesus. You are covered under his wings, and the blood of Jesus acts as a shield, protecting you from the snares of the fowler and the deadly pestilence. As Psalm 91 verse 3 declares, Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. I invoke the blood of Jesus to deliver you from every plot and scheme of the enemy, ensuring that you remain untouched and secure in Jesus' name. I declare over you that the blood of Jesus has broken every chain and removed every barrier that could come between you and God's perfect protection in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that the Lord's 
God's faithfulness will be your shield and buckler, as Psalm 91 verse 4 affirms. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His faithfulness shall be your shield and buckler. I plead the blood of Jesus over you, invoking its power to guard you from all evil and danger in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus provides a divine shield, deflecting all fiery darts of the enemy and ensuring that no harm comes near you. As you dwell in this sacred protection, the blood of Jesus serves as a constant reminder of God's commitment to your safety and security. Psalm 91 verses 5 to 6 say that you will not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. I declare that these fears and threats are nullified by the protective power of the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. It covers you completely, rendering every attack powerless and every threat ineffective in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus transforms every potential danger into a testimony of God's faithfulness and protection, ensuring that you are shielded from every conceivable arm in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that the blood of Jesus has empowered you to overcome and prevail over every attack and threat in Jesus' name. According to Psalm 91 verses 7 to 8, a thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. I plead the blood of Jesus to ensure that even in midst of overwhelming odds and seemingly insurmountable challenges, you will remain untouched and safe in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus breaks every curse, nullifies every spell, and removes every limitation that the enemy might try to impose upon you in the name of Jesus. I declare that you are walking in divine protection where the blood of Jesus has created a hedge around you that no enemy can breach in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that the Lord will give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways as Psalm 91 verse 11 declares for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways I plead the blood of Jesus to activate this divine protection calling forth a legion of angels to surround you guard you and guide you in every step you take in Jesus name the blood of Jesus ensures that these heavenly beings are on a lot fully engaged in on their mission to protect you from any danger or harm according to Psalm 91 verses 12 to 13 they shall bear you up in their hands lest you dash your foot against a stone you shall thread upon the lion and the cobra the young lion and the serpent you shall trample on the foot I declare that the blood of Jesus empowers you to overcome every adversary and challenge from the lion to the cobra ensuring that no harm can touch you and no enemy can stand against you in the name of Jesus I declare over you that because you have set your love upon the Lord God will deliver you and set you on high as Psalm 91 verses 14 to 15 promises because he has set his love upon me therefore I will deliver for him. I will set him on high because he knows my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. I plead the blood of Jesus over you to affirm your place in this divine promise, invoking its power to ensure that you are continually delivered from trouble and honored by God in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is a testament of God's unwavering commitment to you, ensuring that you experience his presence and protection in every situation. I declare that you will call upon the Lord and he will answer you, delivering you from every trouble and setting you on high above every challenge in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare over you that the Lord will satisfy you with long life and show you his salvation. As Psalm 91 verse 16 says, with long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. I invoke the blood of Jesus to secure this promise, ensuring that you ensure the the fullness of life that God intends for you in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that the Lord's protection is unyielding and complete, empowered and assured through the blood of Jesus. I plead this precious blood over every aspect of your life, invoking its power to protect, deliver and bless you abundantly. 
I pray over your life the covering and protection of the blood of Jesus. Through the precious blood he shed on the cross, I plead the power of the new covenant that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. I declare that you are covered by the Passover blood of the Lamb that caused the destroyer to pass over the Israelites while the firstborn Egyptians were slain. I plead this same Passover protection over you and your household, that no plague or curse shall overtake your dwelling. I decree the mark of Christ and his redemptive blood over your body, soul, and spirit. His precious blood protects your mind from torment, your emotions from unrest, your purpose from derailment. I declare that no weapon formed against you shall prosper according to Isaiah 54 verse 17. I release the power of Revelation 12 verse 11 over your life, that you overcome the schemes of darkness by the blood of the Lamb and the word of your testimony. Through the name of Jesus and his shed blood, you have authority to bind, break and cancel the effects of curses, witchcraft, soul ties, trauma, generational bondages, addiction, affliction and the demonic sense to harm you in Jesus' name. I declare the voice of Jesus' blood crying out for mercy over your past sins and mistakes. Though your sins once colored, you are now white as snow. I speak cleansing into every crevice of pain, regret, and iniquity. The blood of Jesus sets you free through the law of liberty and the law of the Spirit. I call forth warrior angels assigned to guard you on all sides, as Hebrews 1 promises, and not all angels ministering spirits sent to serve those who will inherit salvation. I dispatch these angelic warriors now with swords of fire to cut off, shield, and protect you from all demonic assignments launched against your destiny. I speak the power that flows from Gethsemane, drops of blood and sweat that prepared the Lamb for final victory over Satan, sin, and death itself. By his agony, your joy is eternal. By his wounds, your healing is secure. I declare every generational curse broken, every bloodline purified, every chain undone by the blood of the everlasting covenant. I speak protection of the crimson flow that purchased your redemption from sins, sickness, poverty, and eternal loss. The blood speaks life, wholeness, deliverance, and abundance over your body, mind, relationships, and purpose. Advance into victorious living, truly free, whom the sun sets free. Through Calvary's veil, turn into two. Through Jesus' worthy sacrifice. The death curse is broken, Satan's dominion crushed, sin's consequences annulled, and a way is made into God's throne room. I declare the blood applied over doorposts of thought, emotion, relationships, purpose, and physical body. No destroyer shall ever overtake your dwelling. You abide now in God's mercy seat of grace himself. Beloved child of God, I call forth divine strategies and insights to advance your life's calling. Like Joseph had fixed overwhelming oppositions, may you hear the spirit's counsel do not fear or be dismayed for the battle is not yours but god's take your position stand still and see the victory he gives surrounded by angel armies no weapon formed against you can prosper i release fresh passion for jesus and his priorities to fill your inner being Break agreements made through bitterness, offense, or jealousy, allowing darkness to gain access. Forgive quickly, guard your heart, extend mercy as you have received mercy. Walk uprightly in covenant devotion to Christ through purity and obedience. I declare Ephesians 1 over you, that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened with wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him. Grasp fully His mighty authority and incomparably great power at work for those who believe. The same strength that raised Jesus from death to life dwells in you through the Spirit. I release 30, 60, 100 fold harvests upon seeds sown in tears and trials. As Gethsemane prepared the way for resurrection life, I declare every disappointment worked for good, every loss restored twofold. What enemy intended for evil, God leverages for increase. By the blood that speaks, I call forth a turnaround into an explosive breakthrough. Through the sprinkled blood that speaks better things than Abel's, I declare every court case and legal verdict swung in your face favor. As Jezebel schemed against Naboth to unjustly take his vineyard, I cancel such witchcraft plots against your family, finance, and purpose. Justice and vindication are released through eternal blood covenant.
I apply the power of Jesus' blood to approve generational patterns keeping you stuck. Poverty, pride, addiction, divorce, abandonment, abuse, intrusive irrational thoughts, or depression. As Joshua declared, as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. I break bloodline bondage and set you fully free through the law of liberty in Christ. Beloved, walk forward unashamed and confident in your true identity in Christ, purchased by blood. Wear this armor daily against condemnation or lies shouting unqualified unloved unclean through the blood of jesus that speaks you are qualified loved unconditionally made clean surge ahead in joy and power of who he made you to be no weapon formed against your identity can prosper you have overcome through the blood of the lamb and word of your testimony beloved child of the most high i call forth divine turnarounds and reversal of curses aimed against your destiny. As Balaam sought to curse Israel, yet God turned every curse into blessing, I declare the same over you now. As Balak devised evil plans, may the Lord make all things work together for your good. Surrounded by angel armies, no weapon formed against you can prosper. I release overflowing vindication as your righteousness shines brighter in contrast to wicked plots that seek your downfall. As Jezebel framed innocent Naboth in order to take his vineyard, I declare such witchcraft schemes exposed and overturned truth and justice prevail through the eternal government of christ no devil in hell shall rob you of divine purpose i call for immediate assistance from heaven's angel forces against persistent attacks trying to drain strength and still peace allow no foot all to worry dread or offense God taught, forgive quickly and take refuge in the secret place. He shall hide you under his protective wings as you rest near his heartbeat. Fear not, he has already overcome. You will emerge stronger. I release the cup of communion spoken of in 1 Corinthians 11. The blood of Jesus Christ broken for you so that you may be made whole. The blood of the new confidant shed for the forgiveness of sin so that you may be set free eternally. I declare the promises of God over your life. You stand firm in his protection and victory. Remember the word of God is living and active. Sharper than any double-edged sword. That's Hebrews 4 verse 12. And as you declare it, you unleash the power of heaven against the forces of darkness. The Bible says in Ephesians 6 verse 12, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Witches and wizards operate within these realms of darkness, seeking to disrupt the plans and purposes of God in our lives. However, I declare over you that no weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. That's Isaiah 54, 17 in Jesus' name. I declare over you the prayers of Psalm 35, for the Lord is your advocate in the face of spiritual warfare. Plead my cause, O Lord, with those who strive with me, fight against those who fight against me. That's Psalm 35 verse 1. I declare over you that the Lord will take hold of shield and buckler and it will stand up for your help. That's Psalm 35 verse 2 in Jesus' name. I declare over you that the Lord will draw out the spear and stop those who pursue you. He will say to your soul, I am your salvation. Let those be turned back and brought to confusion who seek your life. Let them be ashamed and brought to dishonor in Jesus' name. Let those who seek after your life be ashamed and brought to dishonor. Let those who plot your heart be turned back and brought to confusion in Jesus' name. I declare over you that the angel of the Lord will chase them and their way shall be dark and slippery in Jesus' name. I declare over you that every net that has been secretly set to entrap you shall be broken and the enemy who digs a pit for you shall fall into it themselves. The Lord will rescue you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. I declare over you the victorious proclamation of Psalm 68 for the Lord is a mighty warrior. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let those who also hate him flee from before him i declare over you that as smoke is driven away so the lord will drive away every witch and wizard that rises against you in jesus name i declare over you that as wax melts before the fire so the wicked will perish at the presence of god in jesus name i declare over you that the lord will arise in your life and his enemies will be scattered in seven directions in jesus name
The Lord will bear your burdens daily and it will be your salvation in Jesus' name. I declare over you that the Lord will rebuke the beasts of the reeds, the heads of bulls and the calves of the people and every spiritual power that seeks to trample you on the foot in Jesus' name. I declare over you that the Lord will march through the wilderness and bring victory to your life in Jesus' name. I declare over you the imprecatory power of Psalm 109 for the Lord is just and righteous. Hold not your peace, O God of my praise, for the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful have opened against me. I declare over you that every lying tongue that rises against you shall be silenced in Jesus' name. The Lord will set a wicked man over those who persecute you and an accuser will stand at their right hand in Jesus' name. I declare over you that when they are judged, they shall be found guilty and their prayers will become sin. The Lord will cut off their days and their positions will be taken by another. In Jesus' name, I declare over you that the Lord will remember thy iniquity and not blot out their sins. In Jesus' name, I declare over you that the Lord will deal with your enemies according to his righteousness and he will deliver you for his name's sake. In Jesus' name. I declare over you that the Lord will bless you while your enemies will be put to shame and they will be clothed with their own confusion. That's Psalm 109 verses 28 to 29 in Jesus' name. I declare over you that the Lord will keep you from the hands of the witches and wizards and preserve you from the violent men who have purposed to make you stumble in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. I declare over you the fullness of God's protection, power and peace. No witch, wizard or demonic force can stand against you. For the Lord is with you in Jesus' name. His word is your shield. His blood is your covering. And his angels are your guards in Jesus' name walk in the confidence of his victory knowing that you are more than a conqueror through him who loves you i declare victory over witches and wizards in your life in jesus name lord god i claim your promise over the life of your child right now i acknowledge that you alone are our dwelling place and our refuge we run to your tabernacle where no evil can overtake us I pray that you keep us as the apple of your eye and hide us in the shadow of your wings. We take cover under the blood of Jesus and surround ourselves with God's holy angels. We stand our ground as warriors rooted in the truth of Psalm 91. As I pray, the Spirit reminds us of the story of 2 Kings chapter 6. The king of Aram was at war against Israel, but the prophet Elisha would warn the king of Israel whenever the Armenian army planned an ambush. Frustrated at having his plans exposed, the king of Aram sent a mighty army to surround the city and capture Elisha. When Elisha's servants woke up the next morning and saw the enemy forces, he cried out in fear, Oh my Lord, what shall we do? Elisha responded with faith and prayer, saying, Do not be afraid, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Then Elisha Elisha prayed, O oh Lord, please open his eyes that he may see. So the Lord opened the servant's eyes, and he saw the hills full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. I decree today that just like the Lord sent heavenly armies to surround and protect Elisha from Armenian army, the Lord shall send spiritual forces to surround you today, far mightier than any army arrayed against you. By faith, you see angel armies standing guard. You see the very hosts of heaven, the infinite power of God encamping around you. I decree in the mighty name of Jesus that your eyes are open and that you do not lose heart. I declare that God's guardian angels stand watch over you in Jesus' name. Psalm 91 verses 11 to 12 assures us that these heavenly messengers are like personal bodyguards assigned by God to keep us safe in all our ways. I want you to picture this. Just as a loving parent would send someone trustworthy to accompany their child, God sends his angels to be with us every step of the way. These angels are not just ordinary beings, they are God's messengers of love and protection. When we are surrounded by challenges or feel the weight of spiritual battles, these celestial friends are right there ready to shield us from harm. Remember when Daniel found himself in a den filled with hungry lions? God sent his angels to shut the mouth of the lion. Daniel's enemies were shocked. 
They were in awe that the lion did not hurt Daniel. I declare that at this very moment, your enemies will be shocked in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you in this very moment to reflect on times in your life when you felt surrounded by challenges, yet somehow you emerged unharmed. Those were moments when God's angels were working behind the scenes, guarding you from harm's way. By the power bestowed upon me, I pray that those angels shall continually protect and guide you in Jesus' name. I pray that God protects you against the lies and deceptions of the enemies. I pray that he helps you to walk fearlessly for Christ and defends you against powers wishing to do you harm. I declare that God arms you with his full armor as you wage war against the powers of darkness in prayer. As we continue our warfare, prayer. I declare that you step into a powerful declaration of victory through faith in Jesus Christ. I pray that Psalm 91 verse 13 becomes your anthem, proclaiming triumph over challenges and adversities for you like a brave knight overcoming dragons and obstacles in a fairy tale in Jesus' name. In our lives, we encounter giants, challenges, fears, situations that seem insurmountable. Yet, Inspired by the story of David, I decree that you shall be victorious against every Goliath in your life in Jesus' name. Even before the battle begins, God will declare you victorious. Your faith becomes the slingshot that propels you towards victory in the mighty name of Jesus. In the realm of spiritual warfare, faith is our shield and sword. Ephesians 6.16 6, encourages us to take up the shield of faith to extinguish the flaming arrows of the evil one. Our declaration of victory is not based on our strength alone but on our unwavering trust in God's power. And therefore, I decree that you will overcome in Jesus' name. Once again, I draw inspiration from another man of God in the Bible. I pray that God gives you the resilient faith of Job in the face of profound challenges. Job's story, marked by unimaginable loss and unwavering trust in God, serves as a beacon of hope in moments when your faith wavers amid life's storms. Seek strength through prayer. I pray that through this prayer, you will find solace knowing that your faith, though tested, can emerge stronger, mirroring the restoration and blessings witnessed in Job's unwavering journey. As we conclude our prayer, I lift you up in gratitude, trusting that the shield of protection we've invoked surrounds you. May God's presence be your constant refuge, and his angels guard you in unseen battles. Draw inspiration from the triumphs of Elisha, Daniel, and David, and find resilience in the faith of Job amid challenges. I declare the Lord most high is your dwelling place of refuge according to verse 9 run into the strong tower of his presence when assailed by adversity worship him as defender and deliverer he orders angels to guard you in all ways lifting you up lest you strike your foot against a stone according to the verses 11 to 12 you shall tread upon serpents and scorpions over all power of the enemy nothing by enemies shall harm you i decree supernatural reversal against every weapon and tongue that rises against you in judgment according to isaiah 54 verse 7 receive angelic assistance unlocking divine justice as the table turns against those seeking your demise sorcery backfires and curses dissolve reversing into blessings instead no enemy can stop God's redemptive purpose and plans for your life. I command deliverance from every oppressive stronghold and weight seeking to crush your calling according to Psalm 18 verse 48. Adversity intended to stop destiny dead in its tracks now catapults you higher through the door of overcoming trust birth through struggle receiving supernatural strategies and busts of all the spirits acceleration launching you forward in jesus name i call for its ancient paths and kingdom inheritance once blocked to open before you according to isaiah 49 verses 8 and 11 possess the land beloved receive fresh vision strength and second wind to apprehend all god has destined as those ahead pull you forward into places of legacy and influence ordained for you before the foundations of the earth beloved child of destiny fresh hope rises today as you choose not to cower under threats of darkness but stand unwavering and confident trust that salvation appears speedily as pressure and warfare aim to wear out our sense the holy spirit remind us confidently that weeping remains only for a night 
Overwhelming joy arrives at dawn's awakening. Victory stands a shot through faith in Christ. Rejoice. I decree angelic assistance released now to enforce and establish protection, favor, and vindication around the cloak according to Psalm 91 and Isaiah 54 verse 17. May those with evil intention who hide in darkness trusting their counsel remain concealed now and suddenly stumble into their own pits according to Psalm 35 verse 8. I command spirits of chaos, adversity, affliction, destruction, calamity, torment, assailing God's people to involuntarily yield and comply with his decrees now, reinforced by angel armies, escort all offenders to shield, locks with chains and gags removing all ability to retaliate or access those hidden in Christ according to Colossians 2 verse 15. Hold and dismantle all enemy assignments intended to harm you or obstruct kingdom's purpose right now. I call forth divine alignment and kingdom connections leading to influence, favor, and resources to advance God's plans through you according to Psalm 31 verse 19. Where there was lack of limited vision in times past, Sudden overflow establishes advancement furthering the kingdom in media, economy, education, medicine, families and government. No longer will the gates of destiny remain shut to those carrying Christ's compassion. Rise up, beloved child. Inherit all God has prepared for you. The time is set now. I call upon the ancients of days surrounded by flames of holy fire to dispatch assistance, enforcing the word decree today. Let every counter attack of hell yielded to heaven's supreme authority and power, enforcing God's will in answer to our prayers. No weapon prevails as angel armies war against evil altars erected to assault the innocent. Sudden shifts belong to God's faithful ones. Rejoice, the Lord himself fights for you. I command spirits fighting your progress, increase and personal development in your life to live now and never return in Jesus' name. I speak and call forth creative miracles, releasing restoration of relationships, resources, years robbed by the enemies. Receive sevenfold blessing and recompense for all you have endured. Triple crown anointing is upon you. I call forth divine alignment with people, resources, opportunities to launch you rapidly forward towards Isaiah 60 verse 22. Receive supernatural connections and networks, bringing exposure, visibility, influence and dramatic increase. May those sitting in seats of authority now come alongside you to provide wisdom, revelation, and support. I call you from the shadows into the limelight prepared for you. Take your place, child of destiny. From today, let fresh vision, hope, and perspective arise to recognize that what seeks to intimidate and oppose you can become your greatest advocate and ally when surrendered to the Lord. God specializes in turning curses into blessings and even makes jealousy and hatred directed towards you erupt into undeserved favor instead. Take heart and stand unwavering with the joyful expectancy that he is faithful to turn evil around for good when you walk in love. Sudden turnaround and vindication stand ready to be deployed from heaven at the moment appointed. Trust in his great love for you. Rejoice the Lord himself goes before you to fight on your behalf. I decree divine turnaround manifest against every weapon, trap and accusation of hell coming against you according to Isaiah 54 verse 15. Sorcery backfires, verbal curses dissolve and manipulation is rendered powerless in the face of Christ's supreme authority and sacrifice. He is for you, so none can prevail successfully against you. Rejoice! I command spirits fighting blessings into your life to be bound right now according to Psalm 35. I declare their nets becoming their own downfall. May angel warriors pursue and scatter these adversaries. The Lord shall surround you with favor as with a shield. So every weapon raised against you bimerangs suddenly. No curse or sorcery prevails against God's anointed. I call forth the Psalms 23 
and 91 shield protection and blessing and angelic commission established around the clock over your life right now i invoke the blood of jesus sealing coverage according to psalm 91 and luke 10 declaring that no plague trap or demonic exchange can infiltrate the mighty head christ's sacrifice provides triumph deliverance and blessings manifest against every adversary rejoice the lord executes vengeance and judgments for you every day against oppression so you are freed to inherit every promise and prepared for what he has for your life beloved child of god when darkness and giants confront to create fear and intimidation take heart our help and deliverer is just a whisper away as we call upon the name of Jesus who answers Dunami's miracle power according to Psalm 46 verse 1 and Hebrews 13 verse 8 cling tightly to the unchanging character of Christ he remains constant through every battle storm you shall prevail there is no shadow of variation in him. He who watches over Israel neither slumbers nor sleep. So rest peacefully in his tender care tonight. Victory stands secure through intimacy and trust in the Almighty. One whose love for you remains unmatched through eternity. Rejoice, my friend. No darkness withstands his marvelous light and triumph. You shall see it manifest suddenly in Jesus' name. I decree angelic assistance, establishing supernatural protection, favor, and recompense around the clock and around every gate of your influence, family, health, finance, ministry, relationships, reputation, according to Psalm 91 and Isaiah 54 verse 17. Raise up ambush reinforcements, according to 2 Chronicles 20, so every enemy stumbles suddenly into their own pits. And nets they so craftily laid out in secret, according to Psalm 35 verse 8. No weapon prevails against God's beloved children. I command spirits fighting progress and increase to leave God's child now immediately, according to John chapter 14 verse 21. Receive alignments for rapid advancement and dramatic turnarounds. Powers opposing your calling, I declare their plans unraveled and reversed by the living word of God in Jesus' name. That which sought to stop you dead in your tracks now slingshots you suddenly forward into divine alignment and favor, preparing a way for overflow. I call forth angelic harvesters and kingdom finance to sow truth, healing, and the love of God into strategic places of society, media, economy, government, so darkness bows to Christ's marvelous light advancing. I release anointed voices into epicenters of influence, carrying prophetic vision to transform communities. May those bound by deception hear and be set free by God encounters that leaves them chained forever. I pull down ungodly thrones of influence erected through fear, intimidation, and manipulation so that the Prince of Peace may reign. Beloved intercessor, call upon the ancients of days surrounded by flame, holy fire, to dispatch assistance enforcing the word decree today. Let every counter-attack of hell yield to heaven's supreme authority and power enforcing god's will in answer to your prayers i decree god's angel armies defend you wherever evil altars are erected to assault you i seal this prayer by decreeing isaiah 54's promise over your life and everything meant to harm you is reversed from today Every tongue rising against you falls. Every sorcery or curse directed towards you now dissolves. Divine inheritance and vindication belong to you. Favor and blessing chases you. Generational curses are uprooted from your bloodline forever.